Hi, and thank you for visiting my channel. For more information, kindly subscribe and follow. Now let's get started. Rhea Ripley and Damian Priest are two of the biggest names in WWE right now. The two have now officially been given a new name by the company. Rhea Ripley and Damian Priest were part of the Judgment Day until recently. Ripley was moments away from winning back her Women's World Championship at SummerSlam when she was betrayed by Dominic Mysterio, who decided to side with Liv Morgan. A similar shock was waiting for Damian Priest, who was then betrayed later in the night by Finn Balor, losing his world title as a result. The two stars were kicked out of the faction, as the new Judgment Day was formed with Liv Morgan. Now, both stars are without titles and are out for revenge heading into Bash in Berlin, where they plan to take part in a mixed tag team match. For a while now, Rhea Ripley and Damian Priest have been referring to one another as their terror twins. Now, their faction name has been changed. The two together are officially recognized as the Terror Twins by WWE, who commented on social media naming them with the new title. No longer are they the Judgment Day, be it old or new, despite being part of the original faction that was founded by Edge, Adam Copeland, and AEW. Going forward, they will be called the Terror Twins. The WWE Universe was in for a major surprise on Monday Night Raw when the company officially confirmed the name change for two of its most prominent stars, Rhea Ripley and Damian Priest. The announcement had been teased for weeks, but the reveal sent shockwaves through the locker room and among fans, marking a new chapter for both superstars. A Storm of Speculation for weeks, WWE had been dropping subtle hints that something big was coming for both Ripley and Priest. The Judgment Day faction, which had dominated Raw for over a year, was evolving. There were cryptic tweets, backstage segments filled with tension, and even a mysterious video package that aired on SmackDown, showing brief flashes of lightning and ominous shadows. Fans speculated endlessly, trying to decipher what was next for the duo. Would they break away from the Judgment Day? Were they about to embark on solo runs? Or was something else in the works entirely? The answer finally came on the August 21st episode of Raw, and it was not what anyone expected. The name change, a bold move. The night began with typical Raw fanfare, but there was an undercurrent of anticipation in the air. As the second hour of the show rolled around, the lights in the arena dimmed, and the familiar entrance theme of the Judgment Day began to play. However, something was different. The music was slower, darker, and more intense, signaling a shift in tone. Rhea Ripley and Damian Priest emerged from the backstage area, walking side by side. Their usual menacing expressions were replaced with looks of determination. The crowd erupted in a mix of cheers and boos, but there was no denying the electricity in the air. Both superstars were dressed in new ring gear, Ripley in a black and silver outfit with spikes on her shoulders, and Priest in a dark red and black ensemble that made him look even more imposing. As they made their way to the ring, the commentators remained silent, letting the moment speak for itself. Once inside the ring, Ripley took a microphone and addressed the WWE Universe. We've been a force to be reckoned with, she began, her voice steady and powerful. But we're not just members of the Judgment Day anymore. We're something more, something stronger. We are reborn. Damien Priest took the microphone next, his deep voice resonating through the arena. This isn't just a new chapter. This is a whole new book. From this moment forward, we will no longer be known as Rhea Ripley and Damien Priest. The crowd buzzed with anticipation as the camera zoomed in on Priest's intense expression. We are the Annihilators. The Annihilators, the new face of destruction. The announcement was met with a thunderous reaction from the WWE Universe. The name The Annihilators perfectly encapsulated the brutal, no-nonsense attitude that both Ripley and Priest had brought to their matches. This was a name that promised destruction, dominance, and an unrelenting pursuit of victory. The new monikers weren't just superficial changes, they signified a deeper transformation. For weeks, Ripley and Priest had been evolving as characters, becoming more ruthless and more focused on their goals. 
The name change was the culmination of then evolution, a statement of intent to the rest of the roster. As the Annihilators, they were no longer bound by the rules of the Judgment Day. They were a force unto themselves, and their mission was clear, to dismantle anyone who stood in their way. The Impact on the Judgment Day The announcement had immediate repercussions for the Judgment Day. Finn Balor and Dominic Mysterio were seen backstage, watching the announcement unfold on a monitor. Baylor's face was a mask of contemplation, while Dominic appeared visibly unsettled. The power dynamic within the faction had shifted, and it was clear that Ripley and Priest's decision would have lasting effects. In the weeks leading up to this moment, there had been tension brewing within the Judgment Day. Ripley's growing dominance and Priest's increasingly aggressive demeanor had created rifts, with Baylor often finding himself at odds with his partners. The name change and subsequent shift in allegiance suggested that Ripley and Priest were ready to distance themselves from the faction that had brought them to prominence. Backstage, whispers spread like wildfire. Was this the end of the Judgment Day as fans knew it? Would Baylor and Dominic be forced to reform the group, or would they seek revenge against Ripley and Priest for their perceived betrayal? The WWE Universe was left with more questions than answers, and that was exactly what WWE wanted. The Future of the Annihilators With their new name and identity, the Annihilators were poised to take Raw by storm. Immediately after the announcement, the duo issued an open challenge to any tag team on the roster. The challenge was answered by the unlikely pairing of Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens, two former rivals who had recently reconciled and formed a tag team. The match was a brutal affair, with Ripley and Priest showing no mercy. The new in-ring style was even more vicious than before, with Ripley delivering bone-crushing strikes and Priest using his power to dominate both Zayn and Owens. The match ended with Ripley hitting Zayn with her newly named finisher, The Reckoning, followed by Priest delivering a devastating chokeslam to Owens. As the referee counted to three, the Annihilators stood tall in the ring, their dominance unquestioned. The WWE Universe knew that this was just the beginning. Ripley and Priest had set their sights on the Raw Tag Team Championships, and it was only a matter of time before they claimed the gold. The name change to the Annihilators marked a significant turning point in the careers of Rhea Ripley and Damian Priest. It was a declaration of independence from the Judgment Day and a bold move that positioned them as one of the most dangerous duos in WWE. With their new identity, 